plane is under attack by a rogue agent. Few could imagine the grand success of the Fast and Furious franchise when it started two decades ago. But here we are, enjoying the 10th installment. And the fan following has only increased over the years across all the high-speed car action, exotic locations and intense story arcs. If there is one thing that we have learned from observing the events in action franchises, it is the uncertainty of death, especially for a major character who hasn't been shown dying. Indicative deaths are not decisive, and for a character as major as Mr. Nobody, fans are never convinced about his fate. So what happened to this intriguing character played by Kurt Russell, and where is he now? Who is Mr. Nobody and why is he so important in the franchise? Mr. Nobody first appeared in the franchise during the events of Furious 7 in 2016 and it was a treat for the fans to witness a veteran actor like Kurt Russell in action. The mysterious nature of Mr. Nobody's character prompted many to believe that he would eventually turn out to be a villain. But that was not the case. He was brought in as a government agent who specialized in covert operatives and he was introduced amidst the raging war between Vin Diesel's Dominic Toretto and Jason Statham's Deckard Shaw. His past life was kept secretive but it was revealed that Mr. Nobody used to work for the CIA and he investigated the drug trade in Central America along with Giselle Yasha, the badass intelligence operative played by Gal Gadot. After Giselle's apparent death, Mr. Nobody made use of her grieving boyfriend Han Zolo and made him work for a greater mission. A highly dangerous weapons program called Project Ares was being developed and it could enable the user to control any computer in the world and all the advanced weapon systems. Mr. Nobody wanted Han to retrieve this powerful device from the couple who created it. But by the time Han arrived, the couple was killed. However, Mr. Nobody found out that the DNA of the dead couple's daughter, Elle, could access the device. He realized the importance of Ella's life and assigned Han the task of protecting her from all the enemy forces that would come after her in order to unlock Project Ares. Mr. Nobody helped Han fake his death and allowed him to slip under the radar and this was when Mr. Nobody first interacted with Dominic Toretto. Luke Hobbs, an agent of the Diplomatic Security Service and a crucial character in the franchise, requested Mr. Nobody to get involved in Dominic and his crew's conflict with Deckard Shaw. He arrived with his men during a confrontation between Dominic and Deckard and Deckard was forced to run for his life. Dominic mistakenly attacked Mr. Nobody's right-hand man Shepard, perceiving him as a threat. He was shocked at why Mr. Nobody let his friend's murderer run free and this was when Mr. Nobody introduced himself and spoke about the Luke Hobbs connection. He then convinced Dominic to help him locate the God's Eye and its creator Ramsay and in return he would allow the device to locate Deckard. The God's Eye was another insane hacking device which could be used to hack any technology using camera and satellite tracking. It started working within minutes and this effective device was created by Ramsay. Before meeting Dominic, Mr. Nobody was after a wanted terrorist called Mose Jacande who had kidnapped Ramsay. If this terrorist was not apprehended quickly, he could utilize the true potential of God's eye and cause widespread destruction. I have to say, you've got an interesting interpretation there of low key. Mr. Mr. Nobody and Dominic made the perfect team. There was something special about watching Vin Diesel and Kurt Russell team up in the same frame and the two characters, Mr. Nobody and Dominic, settled on the deal that benefited both. Mr. Nobody even assembled Dominic's crew following the agreement and eventually Ramsay was rescued from Jakande. The God's Eye was kept safely in Abu Dhabi and aided by the previous deal, Mr. Nobody allowed Dominic to use the device and track Deckard Shaw who was also in Abu Dhabi. Together they headed to his location at a warehouse and Brian O'Connor, a former FBI agent and Dominic's trusted ally also joined them. They were ambushed by Deckard 
who had allied with the terrorist Mose Jacande, and Mr. Nobody got injured in a shootout. Brian and Dominic managed to save his life, and they all escaped from the trap. Dominic was hesitant to abandon an injured Mr. Nobody, but the latter insisted, suggesting that a medical team was already on the way. In The Fate of the Furious, Mr. Nobody was up against a notorious cyber terrorist named Cypher, played by Charlize Theron. He appeared to have recovered from his previous injuries, and in order to get to her, he staged a prison riot for Dwayne Johnson's Luke Hobbs to escape, and he was helped by his new partner, Little Nobody, for this mission. Meanwhile, Cypher had coaxed Dominic into a working with her, and Mr. Nobody gathered a team including Shaw and Hobbs and told them about Cypher's plans. He orders everyone to track down Cypher in New York, but the plan failed and they headed to Russia to stop Cypher and Dominic from hitting sensitive military targets by using the God's Eye. Dominic was compelled to help Cypher because of his son, and once he was reunited with his family, Mr. Nobody intensified the hunt for Cypher. Eventually, she was caught, and in Fast and Furious 9, he was taking her on a plane when it came under attack. He managed to send out a distress signal, and a few flashback scenes reveal a lot more about his true origins and actions, which we have already discussed. The plane crashed, but they never show us his dead body, and we find it hard to believe that a character as important as Mr. Nobody would be killed off so unceremoniously. They're both standing in front of me right now, so like it or not, you two are going to work together. What was Mr. Nobody like? This character was tuned to suit the personality of Kurt Russell and not the other way around. Mr. Nobody was quite different from the conventional image of a government agent and was a fun-loving, easygoing man. His equation with Dominic was fun to watch and contrary to what Dominic had anticipated, Mr. Nobody held up his side of the deal. His years of experience allowed him to effectively deal with the baddies as well as his juniors. But his age was never a hindrance in combat, as we saw in the gunfights that he was part of. But I do find it interesting that apparently, for some reason, she's now working with this guy. Is Mr. Nobody still alive? In the recent release, Fast X, Kurt Russell did not reprise his role as Mr. Nobody, but his partner, Little Nobody, is there in the mix of things, played by Scott Eastwood. We also see a lot of spunk from his daughter, Tess, who is played by Brie Larson, and she plays a key role in the new movie. As we have stated before, it looks extremely unlikely that Mr. Nobody will be killed off-screen, and it might just be a matter of time before we see him back in action. Not only would that be a fascinating twist for the final movie of the franchise, but it would also mean that a fan favorite character would be back in action. If we had a closure with Vin Diesel and Kurt Russell coming together one last time for the next time, it would be the perfect showdown and the grand end to the overwhelming success of the franchise that all the fans deserve. Do let us know in the comments below about your thoughts on this character and the possibility of his return. Also, tell us how you liked the role of his daughter Tess in the new movie and how you would rate the new what? release. Know your audience. I gave you your shot, you shit the bed. Now I'm going to show you how to get this done.